So I'm sat on beaches, paid 13, or lucky for some, hopefully not today for me. Um, right, we are just doing a dead simple approach. It is a bomb in call. Dead simple, deadly, simple, simple, simple. All I've got on the side tray. Gone, that's it, that's it. One tin, that's it, sorted. So I'm gonna sh just go through really simple, quick steps of how to do it. I'll go through myself first. Nine foot black edition rod. Nice little 3000 reel. Pulling this out lovely with the rod. And then business end, I've got um, six pound line, main line, and then I've got a 10 ounce bomb in line. It's got to be in line. Lindo. Um, I have a grip, grip stop just to cushion that bomb so near your, near your knot. You don't want it sort of like banging down and uh, like dinking your, your knot and then things could happen. That's when you, you bust, you bust your, your set up and then have to set up again. That just sort of minimises your risk of damaging you know straight to a little snap link swivel there and then onto my business end i have got a 16 t911 a little corn quick stop 16 t911 to 014 fluorocarbon i use fluorocarbon because it's stiffer and especially when you fish for f1 you want it a little bit stiffer because them little buggers they can spin and out of the mouths and you don't even realise so you want something nice and stiff so it keeps everything tight when you fish your f you want everything nice and tight so right basically that is my setup so let's have a chuck out and i will show you my peg and i will go through why i chuck to certain places and where i think i should be feeding this is peg 13 Lovely peg, plenty of water to get her. So, you are in the main bowl on beaches here. I always start chucking out with a bit of corn, and it, it's basically you're dobbing, you, you dobbing around your peg with a bit of corn. Try and find out where them fish are in your peg. But also, whilst you're doing that, you always want to start and make sure that you, you feed in a line for later on. It, it's your, hopefully, when when they decide to feed later, your bait's there, you've been prepping it, you've been, you've been priming it, it's it's ready for them, they're coming, they're ready to eat and it, you're, you, you've, set, you've set the trap. And, and, to try and get it so it's there's no point in me saying right you need to fish you feed it 30 meters and you can't get your bait your bait's splattering everywhere you need to find you've got the wind in that place so you can find somewhere where it's just going nice so it's probably going nice at like 18 meters today so you, you feed it there i my fate my my magic number is three three bits of corn twice that's what i do i, I know that i can feed that nicely in the area twice and plus you'd ring the dinner bell twice as well when you when you cat in twice you want it in a nice area it doesn't matter if the odd bit goes a little left little right a bit short it just it, it spreads your bait out so then fish are hearing that that bait go in and they're basically they'll, they'll they'll come in eat a bit and then maybe bugger off but leash your baits there for later and just to keep having a little chuck on it. Just to keep keep having a little chuck on it. And then it gives you an idea of no they're not feeding yet. But, but we I've chucked probably started sort of to my left and I'm just gonna keep plopping out, coming around clockwise. To hopefully find them.
two fish quick. One call. Um, it was just as I've it was my first two chucks actually. Um, chucked and I've chucked in the same place again, but a little bit further because there's not that many of us on the lake today, so they've got plenty of room to move out of the way. So I'm hoping that they come back or they've, they've moved on to my uh, shoreline. Sometimes, when there's corn lines, really fishing well, you you can chuck in and you can, you've got one straight away. So just being ready and having your corn lined up, ready for your hook, saves you a few seconds. All adds up to match. That's on. Getting back. Back home now. I've come home to get warmed up after having a right session today. I've had plenty of fish on a bitterly cold day, and it's been really good fishing. And I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And thanks for watching. See you again soon.